Good morning, Howard. Good morning, Doc. How are you feeling today? Well, uh, I'll be okay. I'm in your hands. What, uh, tell us a little bit about the symptoms that you have with your COPD. It's very, very short of breath. And it's, uh, short of breath? Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, overall strength, all overall body strength and weakness. What about, uh, uh, what, how far can you walk comfortably? On, on oxygen. Uh, it all depends, but most days uh, I have trouble walking from uh, probably 50 feet, 60 feet. But sometimes I can walk a little farther than that. What about uh, at nighttime when you're fl flatter and lying in bed? I don't have any problems sleeping or anything like that. I don't. Well, usually about midnight I'll be a. When I wake up I keep a pulse oximeter uh, there by the bed and I check it and usually around midnight it's a little low but then by morning it's uh, uh, it's up the ground you know 97 98 tell us about your experience uh, uh, after your last treatment because I believe that you did have a period where you'd shown quite a bit of improvement but then you regressed yeah we uh after about uh the third month after treatment i was doing much better as as it progressed along and after three months i was almost totally oxygen free i mean i didn't i could i, I could walk i'd carry my oxygen out to my tractor and get a, get on the tractor and then turn the oxygen on after I got everything ready to go to the field. But, you know, it, uh, so I was able to walk, well, I don't know, a hundred yards without oxygen. And I was doing almost everything without oxygen around and, the house and stuff like that, unless I got into a major project. Right. And, uh, and uh, was your sleep improved or your breathing improved uh, at night time as well? Uh, yeah, I, I would say so. Uh, I didn't use oxygen at night, but it, and my numbers remained about the same as when I was using oxygen. So. Right.